nose of bread. So why do y'all big headed, puffed up, arrogant? Why do y'all unlived, gassed up, arrogant? It ain't never been a bottom, gotta put them on the bottom, and I really got a problem, I need put them on the top. But you forgetting the bottom, cause you're falling like autumn, but you're still trying to box them, are you ever gonna stop? A-OKB, my prayer is the cats are made of where his today, infinite preeminence. That today, given. today, right now, this moment, today. I got something real different for you today. Uh, in this different, I'm uh I'm gonna need you to kind of set your mind straight into a into a place where you can take analogies and apply them into context into what I'm really talking about. It's one thing to talk about something, but it's one thing to talk about something and gain gain knowledge that you can apply to yourself as life. Uh, uh, you can, okay, it is fact that I have said this statement. You can read a lot about an eagle flying in the sky and learn a lot, but you can sit and watch an eagle for hours and learn things that a book's just not going to tell you, just observation, okay? I say that saying this. You can learn a lot from, from many things in life, many things on this earth that seem very natural. Even to a flower, people have taken analogies from flowers or analogies from trees, analogies from a rock. The analogy I'm taking today is the wind in the air. Okay, laying the groundwork. This vlog is not mainly going to be about scriptural references, not mainly going to be about Bible verses. It's mainly going to be about, like I said, wind and air. Just by definition, the definition of wind said something about a, a, a perceptible uh, force. Um, I'm trying to look for it right now. Give me a second. The perceptible, the per, excuse me, the perceptible natural movement of the air especially in the form of a current of air blowing from a particular direction. The second definition of wind as a noun uh, is described as, defined as a twist or turn in a course. Okay, so just uh, again laying the groundwork, ruach. Ruach is a Hebrew word for wind, breath. References from the Bible of ruach, uh, number one, Adam, he made man. Adam, imagine Adam laying on the ground, breathless, lifeless, and, and, and God says he, he blew air into his lungs and made him have life. Ruach, Adam, be alive, okay? Made Eve, same way. You look at the Passover, man. The Passover, they put blood over the door of the house, man, and, and that, that signified you had the blood of the lamb, but it was wind moving through. If you've watched uh, the Prince of Egypt, you saw wind moving through, moving through, taking the first one. Now, okay. you got to read it for yourself because I'm not spitting it word for word how the Bible reads. But another example in Genesis, it said the earth was without form. And it mentions the Holy Spirit moving across the earth, just moving across the earth and the waters of the earth uh, like wind moving. Ruach, okay, breath, air. Eight, I think it is. It mentions that uh, the wind the wind is there. You know it's there. You can hear it's there. You cannot see where it's going or, or you don't know where it's coming from, but you know it's there. And then it says the spirit is much like that. How you doing, man? The spirit is much like that. You don't know where it's going, don't know where it's coming from, but you know it's there. Ruach. Breath. Okay. Uh, uh, imagine us in a pool, okay? We walking in a pool. We in the one feet right now. We're going to walk a little deeper into the water, okay? We're going we gonna to get a little knee-deep, okay? Just, just a, a, an obvious, but I'm going to mention, comparison of wind and air is wind is moving, air is not moving. In context, when people talk about the wind, oh, it's a windy day, of course, it's moving, motion. The wind is moving, but the air, when people talk about air, is not moving. The air in here uh, is pretty hot, air, air wind is moving when I was younger growing up in my mom's man on Sundays a lot of times she would she would open all the windows in the house uh, and, and open the, the screen door you, you know what I'm saying you can open the screen door and you can get a, a current flowing through your screen door wind motion that was to clear the air out of the house 
and 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 have the outside wind enter into the house. The wind fills the, the okay. You you understand what I'm saying? Uh, you look at uh, uh, the day of Pentecost. Many times, not not only that day, but I believe even there may be one or two other references in the Bible that I can think of where the Holy Spirit filled a room or filled a place, filled a being. But that is that is wind, ruach, filling. It filled the 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 place, and 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 the building was filled with the Holy Spirit, ruach, wind. But air, on the other hand, is not moving. Okay. So I'm going to go along as the prince of the air. I'm not exactly sure what verse it is, but, you know, look it up if you, I think it's in Ecclesiastes, but, you know, look it up if you want to reference it. Satan is described as the prince of the air, and the spirit is descri described as ruach, wind, moving. Dive a little deeper. Air, air is, is what surrounds us. It is what you can't get away from air. Air is air is there. Air is all around you. It surrounds the earth. It it is all around you. Prince of the air, though Satan is called. Something just real quick. Something I learned. Uh, radio waves, radio frequencies, uh, frequencies in general, and waves and electromagnetic fields. Okay, we're moving into that area real fast. Your brain. You ever got a e? I think it's an e. KG is an EKG. It's one of them. One of them medical devices. They hook up to your brain and they measure your brain waves. Uh, human brain waves are basically broken up into four different categories. And, okay, but these these waves are just like radio frequencies. Uh, you tune in to 101.3, 103.9, but there's not an actual radio station attached to your house that is feeding the the radio waves through. But these waves travel through the air. Okay, the waves travel through the air the same way as our brain waves are traveling and can be measured with highs and lows, highs and lows, similar to your emotions, may I add, but we're not even going to go into that. But y your brain waves, okay, if Satan being the prince of the air, I was thinking to myself, you know, why would, why would they say Satan is the prince of the air? Uh, so if you, if you really look into the word, um, uh, you know, uh, lean not on your own understanding, but trust in God, etc. On that verse, right? Okay. Uh, 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 we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And you have your helmet of salvation, your mind. Brain waves, mind waves. It's only reasonable to, uh, uh, you know, fathom that Satan is on the same frequency as your brain waves are. And that your mind is is susceptible to attack as anything else. Satan can attack your finances, Satan can attack the unity of your family, but don't let it get past you that Satan cannot attack your mind. For your brain waves are on a frequency, frequencies travel through air, Satan is the prince of the air. Getting a little deeper than that, natural wind. Wind, the wind, maybe, I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but the wind comes from the sun. Uh, metaphorically speaking or not, the wind comes from the sun, the sun's energy. The sun brings heat upon the earth, and the sun's energy, that heat, pushes the air, heats up the air and pushes it. I challenge you not to be like air, stagnant, not moving, but to create yourself, to make yourself like wind, moving. You don't know where I'm going, you don't know where I'm, where I'm coming from. But you can hear me and you can sense me that I'm moving somewhere. Let me let me as well let me as well just kind of inch a little bit deeper and and remind you that we are all born like air. We are all born into this world, and the word says it's a sinful world, and 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 our days will be full of trouble. But we are all born into this world of air. But you must decide that you don't want to be just stagnant air. But you want to be in motion, movement, wind, ruach, moving. Don't know where I'm going, where I'm coming from. And and as we learn from what I told you, the definitions and where wind comes from, the wind comes from the sun energy. I challenge you to make yourself like wind from the sun, from the Christ.
Jesus the Christ. Make yourself like wind instead of like air, just predictable and, and sitting still and susceptible to those on the same frequency as you, but like wind to be moving, motion. The wind, the, the, the wind, notice the wind changes everything that it, that it comes in contact with. When the wind, you can look at a tree and you can say, man, I see the wind is there because the leaves are blowing and the branches are moving. The wind is changing that tree. Even something as simple as a rock, when you sit a rock in sand and you put it in a box where there's just air in the box but no wind to move that air, that rock sits there and doesn't, and for the most part doesn't change. It stays the same. Notice when they want to preserve something, they want to preserve the Declaration of Independence, so you want to preserve a specific hundred dollar bill, maybe it's from the 1940s or something, you seal it so that the, the, the dollar bill does not get any wind, ruach. Air in motion, natural, perceptible as well, air, a twist or a turn in a course, air, but it just sits in air. You feel it so it doesn't change. I challenge you to make sure that you're not, you're not sealed off from the wind. Don't be sealed off from the wind which has its source from the sun, but to be like the wind and move. Change things. When the wind blows across a rock that's in the sand, that rock is changing. If you notice erosion, erosion, uh, in a sense, still has to do with the wind. Not only just the sun and the rain, but it has to do with the wind. Ruach. Don't be like the air and stagnant and not changing. If you, if you, if you don't change, you don't grow. If you don't grow, you will, you will be in the same spot and, and, and wake up one day and realize, man, life has passed me by. Man, life has passed me by, but, but be like the wind. Be like the wind. Change everything that you come in contact with. Have a long-lasting effect on everyone you come in, in contact with, the people you come in contact with, instead of just being like the air and just stagnant and just, you know, not changing anything around you. I, I, I sincerely hope that this vlog has, has in some way helped you, man, because what seems like something so small you can you can expand on and 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 expose and and let it change you and your actions don't be that dollar bill sealed up all about self preservation don't be that dollar bill trying to preserve yourself as if yourself is something something to value so much that you don't want to change you want to keep you the way you are all the time don't don't be don't be don't don't value yourself so much that you don't feel like you need to change. You don't feel like you feel like I am perfect the way I am. But we are none of us have arrived. None of us have arrived. Guard your mind, guard your thoughts, and let your life let your life recreate wind so that you change things around you. I hope this thing this message in some way helped your life. Don't forget, hit me up on the Twitter, at Travis Kinley. I'm on the Facebook, too. YouTube name has changed. If you haven't noticed, no more trash claim. It's just Travis Kinley. Trash claim was too hard to remember. And if I ever get up on a mic or something and start rapping, I'm not trying to be like, hit me up at Travis Claim. I, I can't like, say that because Jesus walks. They don't play that. I know. Shouldn't be here because people rolling their trees here. I know. You can't help them. No strippers and killers welcome. I know. You can't hear it. No ignorance in my lyrics. Boy, they swear I went loco. 116 still my logo. Catch us rolling in that photo. Gonna snap you a photo. Maybe Andy Gaproto. Might see Trippin' DeSoto. Maybe.